guys? Good. Okay, we have the student athletes from Kent State University, the Golden Flashes. Joining us are Jimmy Hall, Dion Edwin, and Jalen Walker. Uh, gentlemen, first of all, I'd like to um, ask uh, each of you the same question. If you could characterize how your season has gone and what it's taken to, to get to Sacramento. I guess I'll start. Um, it's been, you know, it's been a real fun journey, you know. Uh, we work real hard um, over the summer, and um, it just means everything to our team and, and to Kent State uh, that we're here, uh, you know, in this position right now. Um, our journey was good. Uh, we had a little bumpy start, and uh, through the season, we had our ups and downs. But uh, I guess, you know, this makes the season more enjoyable, and we're here. So I say it's a good season for us. Yeah, um, pretty much uh, what these guys just said, you know, we had an up and down season and um, we uh, started bad, but through the end, uh, we started uh, carrying carry over. And um, now we're here, so we uh, we trying to continue on our um, wins as we go on. Okay, um, questions, if you'd like to ask a question, please uh, do so into the microphones that will be distributed around the room and uh, state name and uh, affiliation, and we'll, we'll start over here. Um, TJ Mahoney, Turner Sports. Uh, can you guys talk about the turnaround you guys have had? I think at one point you guys were only five and seven in the conference, and I don't think a lot of people would have thought you guys would be here. Um, what was it that kind of turned the season around? I think you guys have won nine in your last ten. I mean, from um, my standpoint, I think our turnaround was like um, – we know we had meetings before when we lost games and stuff, and then we just come as a group and talk about it. But uh, we had like one big fight, you know, in the in the locker room, not physically, but just argument, you know, and then actually like challenging all players, you know, because I think at that time we were so much offensive minded instead of more defensive minded and like just doing the right thing to get the job done. And I think at that point, I think it was Toledo we lost to. Uh, in our conference game, and then from there, everything swing around from right there. So, I think that was our main turning point, and then challenging everybody. Hey guys, Chip Reed, TV2, Kent State University. Uh, Jalen, you were named the MAC tournament MVP. Um, first of all, how big of an honor is that for you to uh, cap off a run with that sort of, you know, title? Um, you really shot the lights out a lot of those games. Do you feel like you'll be able to carry that style against UCLA, who obviously is the best team you guys have seen all year? Um, yes, uh, I'm. Um, um, yes, uh, I am uh, uh, going to uh, carry that um, on to this next game. Um, giving uh, my teammates uh, credit, you know, they uh, believe in me and uh, believe uh, that I can uh, make shots and stuff like that. So it's going to be real nice. Henry Palatella, a Kent Stater. Uh, just on a non-basketball note, what's it been like for you guys just coming over? The time difference, obviously the weather difference. Just how have you guys gone through that in the 24-ish hours that you've been here? Um, you know, it's been a fun process. A lot of us never been to California and, um, and getting away from the cold. So we weren't really too stressed about traveling or anything, you know. Uh, we, we live in sunny California. You know, we get to play a great team. And we're just happy that we're just in this situation again. Ellie Lieberman, SB Nation. Um, Jimmy, what does it mean for you to come from Hofstra and overcome some rough patches and finally make it here? Um, you know, it means a lot. Uh, you know, just it, all the hard work and, um, you know, things I've been through is just a very humbling experience. And I'm very blessed to be in this situation. And, um, you know, I just want to just continue to just play hard for the school that, that helped me get to where I am right now. And can you also talk a little bit about how much your mom means to you? I know she sends you scouting reports, so how does she have an effect on you? Yeah, yeah. She, uh, she you know, she's everything, you know. She's, um, 
she's been with me the whole way, you know, just supporting me and uh, believing in me. And um, it just, she's at every game. She's on her way here now. So it just means, she means the world to me. And I just, you know, I want to go out there and, and play as hard as I can for her too. Any other questions? Whoop. Yeah, uh, Jimmy, can you talk about, and this goes to Dion too, what this means getting to the uh, NCAA tournament as seniors? So what was that in your part? Finally uh, making it to the tournament. I mean, that's everybody's goal, you know, as soon as you come into college is to win your, your MAC tournament, uh, get to the NCAA, because this is like the biggest stage. Uh, show everybody, because at this time, every eyes is on you, you know, and then everybody else want to proceed from here to get a job in the NBA or overseas or what's, you know, it's just now just to show their talent and have fun. Yeah, I, I agree with that. You know, it means a lot to me. Um, being a senior and this being my last year, uh, yeah, there's no, you know, who's to say if you could play basketball after this, you know, it's just a real privilege and, you know, an honor to be be here in my last final year. Uh, Jalen, a question for you, just kind of you had this amazing MAC tournament run, MAC tournament MVP, but I mean, Kent was really your only Division One offer and last year you had the foot injuries that kind of as setbacks and also this year, just talk about how that journey for you has come to now where you are. Um, when I um, had my injuries in the past, um, for like a few months, um, my uh, coaches and teammates were just um, telling me just, um, just to um, you know uh, sit back, you know, take uh, notes of the game and just um, watch our players and just um, just to, just to see how um, things are and just take rest and soon enough, um, just just you know just get back to myself. Once I got back, um, it was a few games where I was a little shaky and stuff like that. But as I uh, as I c c continue and went on, um, it got better for me. And just um, yeah. So, uh, Jimmy, the first game in the MAC tournament was against Central Michigan. You guys are down by a whole lot of points in the first half. Uh, going up against arguably one of the best players in the conference, in Marcus Kane. Uh, you finished with around 40 points and uh, brought the team back for the victory. Did you feel like after that win, uh, that game specifically, you were kind of catapulted towards making the run you guys did in the MAC tournament? Yeah, I think that, uh, that boosted us a lot. Um, they're a good team, and he's a heck of a scorer. And just being able to overcome the deficit that we were, um, that we were in, just, yeah, definitely added fuel to our fire. But, you know, we always believed that we could, um, that we could do this. We never stopped believing. We've been talking about this since the summertime since we got together. And so we never lost belief, but yeah, it, def it definitely boosted us. Was there anything different in your game plan for this week facing um, UCLA bigs like Lonzo Ball? Um, no, no. Really, not really, you know. All we come out here, just play hard, stick to what we do best, and I mean, that's all we could do right now, you know, just play ball and have fun because we're here now. You know, got to stick to the game plan like we've been doing, and that's why we've been winning. So we're going to be doing that. Any other questions? Okay, gentlemen, thank you. Thank Good you. Good luck all. tomorrow. All right, thank Thanks. You. We'll have uh, Coach Sender off here in just a moment. Okay, we now have the head coach of the Golden Flashes, Rob Senderoff. Rob is in his uh, sixth season with the program. 
Coach, uh, it's the first NC2A tournament for your team since 2008. Uh, certainly a stupendous season. Can you talk a little bit about some of the highs and lows that you faced during the course of the year? A absolutely. Uh, first of all, it's uh, an honor to be here uh, and for our team and our program to be part of uh, March Madness here again. As you mentioned, first time since 2008 and uh, sixth time in school history. So uh, this is a great, great uh, to be a part of. Our, our players are really excited. Uh, our, our university is really excited to be a part of this and getting an opportunity to play a great uh, UCLA program and a great UCLA team tomorrow night is, uh, is something we're really looking forward to. Coach Senderoff, Chip Reed, uh, TV2, Kansas State University. First off, it's an honor as student journalist to be a follow the team out here. Uh, my question is, um, you know, Steve Alford, coach of UCLA, you guys both have ties to Indiana. Um, have you spoke with him at all? Do you know him? No, I, I, I don't know Coach Alford. Obviously, growing up, I certainly uh, watched him and uh, know how phenomenal a player he is. But as great a player as he is, he's doing just as good a job, if not better, as, as the coach of UCLA. And um, again, for us and our, our program, it's a privilege to get an opportunity to play such a good team uh, here in the NCAA tournament. And uh, we're really excited to get to get a chance to, to play them tomorrow night. Um, talk about uh, what being here means to your program after not being here for so long. Yeah. What does it mean going forward? You know, I, I think it, that's a great, great question. And it, it, it's really uh, our league is is very, very difficult. It's uh, it's it's a one bid league most of the time. Um, and it's a league where you can have tremendous success and still not be in the NCAA tournament. And we've won 122 games in the six years that I've been the head coach. But getting to that tournament, it, it means so much to our school and to our fans and to our university uh, that it's just really humbling to be a part of this. And our team this year, uh, as these guys mentioned that were on before, we started out uh, with some really good wins. We beat Texas at Texas early in the season, but also some close losses. And at one point, we were 9-9. Nine and nine. Uh, At one point, we were 13-12. And, 12 and uh, we were 1-4 and four in the league and 5-7 and seven in the league at one point. So to finish winning 9 out of 10 games, um, to be down in 8 out of those 10 games at halftime, it really shows the resiliency and the toughness of the group that we have. And uh, as a coach, you couldn't be prouder of seeing a, a group of men who, uh, who compete and play as hard as they do for each other. Uh, and, and for our university. Ellie Lieberman, SB Nation. Um, can you talk a little bit about what's different coaching this team on such a run versus what it was like coaching Indiana? Yeah, well, coaching this team, uh, you know, it, is, it's really special because these guys all have tremendous stories to tell. And, uh, you know, Jimmy Hall, you mentioned, him, Jalen Walker, who was up here, didn't have any scholarship offers coming out of high school. And then as a sophomore, uh, as a freshman, he broke his foot. At the beginning of his sophomore year, he broke his foot. Uh, and then he goes and has 30 points in the conference championship game. You know, Deion Edwin played his entire junior year uh, in league with a torn meniscus and uh, had to have surgery right after the season. And for him, again, for his senior year to be a part of uh, the first NCAA tournament team since 2008. Uh, I think it just speaks towards their resiliency. And, and we have other stories to tell as well. Jalen Avery, um, our starting point guard, first time we played, we were um, nine and nine. He had not played in two straight games and then became our starting point guard. And from that point on, we're 13 and four. Uh, Mitch Peterson, a freshman wing, who uh, at one point we thought about redshirting, is now playing 30 minutes a game as a freshman. So. There's so many stories to tell on this with this group, and it's so special to be be the coach of it. And going off of that, you guys have kind of adopted the mantra, like this story isn't over. What yeah. does that mean to you um, going forward for tomorrow? You know what? We, we watched uh, prior to our game against Akron where we snapped their 30-game home winning streak. We watched a video on the Super Bowl, and during that video after halftime when uh, the New England Patriots were down, I think it was 17 or 18 points at halftime, uh, Julian Edelman, who's a Kent State graduate, you hear him talking to Tom Brady 
right before the start of the second half saying we're going to come back and win this and it's going to be a hell of a story. It's going to be a hell of a story. That's all he says. And we've sort of kept that like this is going to be our story. And we from that point on have won nine out of ten. And like I said, down in, at halftime in eight of those ten games. Uh, we've defended like crazy. Uh, we've made timely plays when we've needed to. And uh, we've showed tremendous toughness and resiliency as a group. Uh, Coach, I mean, in, in any different approach here? I mean, ob you know, UCLA, obviously, a, bit, a little bit bigger of a team, bi bigger of a brand than, you know, Akron, Buffalo, Ohio University, teams of that nature. But I get the impression that you guys are pretty comfortable with the cards that you've been dealt, and that's how it's been the last 10, 11 ball games. Um, do you guys feel pretty comfortable? I mean, not a whole lot to change going into this game? Well, you know, everybody who makes the NCAA tournament has a really good team. Uh, everybody who makes the NCAA tournament is playing with confidence. And uh, our guys certainly are. We have a belief in what we're doing. Um, with that being said, we know we're playing, you know, one of the great programs of all time and one of the great teams uh, in the country this year in UCLA. They certainly are more than capable of winning this, this entire tournament. And at the same time that I say that, we also know that this is March. And in March, you don't have to beat UCLA seven times or four times out of seven. You just have to beat them uh, Friday night at 7 o'clock. So we're going to play with confidence. There's certainly some things that we need to do really well to have a chance to win. Um, but again, our guys are, are playing loose, uh, really happy to be here, and excited about the opportunity that lies ahead of us. Any other questions for the coach? Rob, thank you. Great. Thank you. Good luck tomorrow night. Thank you.